Hello everybody, it's January 30th, 2021, 19 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 7 degrees Celsius. I am at the entrance to Boston Chinatown, looking at an amazing piece of artwork. I don't know what this is about, it looks like a countryside with a mountainscape. At the top there you see it's presented by the Museum of Fine Arts Boston. And over here, you see the gate to Chinatown. I'm from New York City, and even the New York City Chinatown does not have a Chinatown arch. So this is kind of interesting to see. Reminds me a lot of Asian culture with this kind of architecture. And they even have the two Chinese lions in front. I think each one may be identical to the other. Looks pretty cool. And um, before I go into the Chinatown, you can see there's even more artwork over here on the ground level. A lot of these have to do with uh, Chinese stories and mythology. Looks like there's a pagoda over here, a Chinese dragon, the yin yang. That's a phoenix up there. Not sure what this is supposed to represent. Maybe a silver dragon. We've got the Buddha here. This kind of looks like something from Hinduism. So, pretty neat mural over here. Now, this Chinatown is the only surviving Chinatown in New England. I read on Wikipedia that there used to be Chinatowns in Providence, Rhode Island, as well as Maine, but those did not make it. And the Boston Chinatown is the only remaining Chinatown left in New England. So you see here, this is the Chinatown Gateway. Now, just because the Chinatown Gateway is here does not mean that this is the start of Chinatown because this used to be the boundaries of Chinatown, but Chinese businesses have extended for a few blocks down that way, past the gate. But now we're going to walk into the Boston Chinatown. So here we have Hudson Street and Beach Street, Ping Shing Pastry. You can see all the Chinese pastries they have in the window. This kind of looks like a uh, Chinese pastry dessert filled with uh, lotus paste, I think. And there you see some Chinese sausage as well as some scallion. There's a hot pot buffet on the corner there across the street. Seafood restaurant called New Golden Gate. And wow, pretty little dog here. This is the uh, Great Taste Bakery, I believe. The canopy is a little bit faded away, but you can see inside there they have some Chinese fruit cakes as well as some sponge cakes over there and some other breads for sale. Let's go over here across the street.
heading off of Beach Street now up to Oxford Street. This is the China King restaurant. A convenience store, Delight Corner, they're selling trinkets and other decorations for the Lunar New Year coming up. The Year of the Ox 2021. And over here we have the Taiwan Cafe on the second floor. And across the street, we have the Five Spices House. Now, I do have to mention that I do not know this Chinatown very well because I'm not from the area. This is my first time in many years revisiting the Boston Chinatown. There's the gourmet China house across the streets. Peach farm seafood. It's a lot of restaurants packed very closely to each other, one after the other. We're coming up on some really nice street art right now. This is Probably my favorite part of this Chinatown so far. Look at this. We have the shoujo across the street as well as China Pearl. I guess they're the same business, maybe. But I really dig their mural in front there. Look at this. You got a cat and a flower and something else too. I don't know. Some aerosol like villain with broken teeth. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Wow, look at this. There's like so many cool murals here. And now you have one with a Chinese vase. It reminds me of a vase from like the old Chinese dynasties. But over here we also got a Japanese hot pot restaurant. Jade Garden. Over here. Let's see what Jay Garden has to offer. I don't know what kind of cuisine Jay Garden has. Here's the juicy spot. They have the Chinese egg cakes over here with a sign saying you can also add chocolate and Nutella. Well, they call them egg cakes or egg waffles. This one says egg waffle. And they also have different flavors. Cheese, egg waffle, red bean. But really, really cool. Here's a Korean beauty shop. And Kaisen Don. I wonder if Kaisen Don is the same as Tora. And Jay Garden is over here. I can't really tell what kind of cuisines it is from the outside. Oh, here's a uh, beauty salon, Lily's Beauty Salon. And it also looks like it has some Vietnamese characters. Okay, so this is Neelan Street and Tyler Street. Doesn't look like Chinatown really extends to this side over here. So probably Neelan Street is the border. There's a local convenience store here. Elegance of Asia Hair Salon and the Gaga Seafood Restaurant. I notice a lot of seafood restaurants around here. I guess that makes sense because Boston is located right on the water, right next to some of the best seafood waters in the United States. 
known for the Boston clam chowder. Now we're going to walk right into the middle of the parking lot with the amazing murals. Look at this. Wow. This guy looks like a stick figure with big hands. And there's a Chinese dragon. Another figurine on stilts. This one with the vase really impressed me. Then over here. There's a lot going on in this one. I don't even know what to say. So much. So we have some information here. We have the mural crew over here. The South Cove Community Health Center Tobacco Control Mural Project. I guess that's what, uh, who is responsible for all these murals over here. And now we have a mural here advertising the Mohegan Sun, which I know is a casino around the area. And now we're exiting the other side of the parking lot. I do not know what street this is. But we have a tapioca store across the street, the Wunzo, another place called the ZZ Dessert. And there's also the Hong Kong Eatery. I see a lot of roast meats from the window already. I know that's definitely Cantonese cooking. Roast pork, roast duck, roast chicken, things of that nature. Here we've got the Bao Bao Bakery. And they even have macarons in the window. Look at that. Look at that. And here is Double Chin. Double Chin brings Asian American fusion to theater district. Has a brilliant name. Look at this. You can get you can get very creative with your drinks here at the Double Chin. A family run cafe. Definitely a lot of press about this place, but I wonder how they're doing during COVID times. But you got stuff like the Hong Kong hot chicken katsu bao lo bao and the string bean string bean tempura and peanut noodle salad. Definitely a lot of stuff I have not seen before. Really, really cool. And now there's the Ding Ho fast food takeout restaurant. All right, let's cross the street. By the way, this street that I'm on is Harrison Avenue. This is the intersection of Neelan Street and Harrison Avenue. Here's Knapp Street. Knapp Street actually looks like more of an alleyway to me. ZZ Dessert, which I talked about from across the street. This kind of reminds me of the Spot Dessert Bar in Flushing, Queens, or in Koreatown. It's pretty cool. Now we've got the Hong Kong eatery. Probably going to be hard to see the roast meats with all the moisture on the window, but you can try. It looks good in there. All right. I 
I do wonder how large this Chinatown is. It looks pretty large on Google Maps. I do know it's one of the densest community areas within the Boston area. A Chinese herbs place, look at this. I don't know what this is, but looks like some kind of mushroom. I don't know if it's good for you or not. But you've got no shortage of different Chinese herbs and spices in there. I smell it from outside the door. Here's the Chinese Economic Development Council. I'm also noticing a lot of Vietnamese businesses in the area too. There's a Vietnamese sandwich shop across the street there. So it's not just Chinese here, it's mostly Chinese, but there are some Vietnamese. But I do not really notice too many other East Asian ethnicities or even Southeastern Asian ethnicities represented here as much as like the Manhattan Chinatown or the Flushing Chinatown in New York City. Oh, so this is Beach Street again. We just made a, uh, a detour of one block. Definitely very dense here. There's a lot of traffic here, but that's to be expected knowing that this is the densest or one of the densest neighborhoods in Boston. A lot of people want to drive here. It's probably hard to get parking too. Look at this, there's a food court in here. Friendship BBQ. They got a crepe place, a ramen place, sushi place, dumpling king, Boston crispy bun, wow. And even clam chowder if you want. Yeah, clam chowder in Chinatown. And there's a Hunan cuisine across the street. Berber cha cha. What do we got over here to my left? This place does not look open. Looks like it closed down. Here's Gourmet Dumpling House. We've got some press here. Gourmet Dumpling House is the first choice of Chinese cuisine in the US. After a decade, Gourmet Dumpling House is still going strong. This was published in 2017. Kind of looks like the Shanghainese soup dumpling. Though the menu leans towards Taiwanese and coastal cuisines, the soup dumplings filled with pork crab meat and delicate broth and scallion cake eggs are not to be missed. Wow, this was rated as the second best Chinese restaurant in the US. That's a very bold claim. I would like to try this place somehow, sometime. And here's the Ho Yuan Bakery. Many bakeries in the area as well. Take a look at this almond cookie. There's an almond cookie with actual almonds here. That is nice. And what do we got here? Another bakery next to it. 101 Bakery. No shortage of bakeries here. Just hope you don't have a bread addiction or you'll probably spend your entire day here. And back to the Five Spices house. So I think we made a complete um, journey through this block where we didn't go through. So let's just continue up Harrison Street now and see where this leads to. But so far, I'm very impressed with the Boston Chinatown. It's very clean. People here seem to be very hardworking and supporting of their businesses. I only noticed one restaurant. This is the one to the right of me, which was closed up. So I don't know how well they're doing during COVID, but if I had to guess, they're probably hurting a lot just due to the lack of tourism to the area. Here's Harrison and Beach. Wow, there's another mural up there. Let's check that out. 
before I continue walking up Harrison or maybe I'll just loop around here we got the Gong Cha which is a I think a Hong Kong tea place the Gong Cha they also sell bubble tea in there express delicacies dried scallops sea cucumber abalone really interesting and unique stuff that you can't get anywhere else and here we have the asian garden restaurant all right lobster 19.95 for one size and 38.95 for the other yeah this is a really neat place look at this there's artwork across the street there's another uh, street art over here painted very nicely not sure how frequently it's used but it would be nice if they extended this like throughout the entire neighborhood and painted the rest of the streets these different colors I think it would add a lot of flair to Boston Chinatown there at the corner of this building is the Kazi Shabu Shabu restaurant. Looks like they also decorated very well. They have a koi fish in the lower left corner, as well as a human dining with, I don't know what that is, another anime character at, at, a, at a picnic, having some hot pot. So really, really cool. And now over here, we have more Chinese lions in the front. Chinese lion number one and Chinese lion number two. How are you liking Boston Chinatown? I love it. You love it so far? I know, I don't think anyone likes how cold it is today. By the way, Chinatown has its own subway station, the Orange Line Chinatown Station. I guess we'll visit it right now and see where it is. The name of it is Chinatown. Yeah, that's true. There's a massage therapy place across the street. Sasa Cosmetic and Skin Care Spa. What's over here? It's a parking lot. Almost tripped over a curb there. You got to be careful when it's so cold like this because there's a lot of ice that's not salted all the time. There's a public parking lot. Don't know how much they charge for parking, but probably very good. $17 enter before 6 p.m. Nights and weekends. And there it is, the Chinatown subway station on the orange line. In Massachusetts, they call the subway line the T. I don't know why, but it's called the T. This is the corner of Essex Street and Washington Street. So we'll walk down Washington Street now. Oh, here's another entrance to the Chinatown Station for the orange line going to Oak Grove. There's a hair salon across the street, the Echo Beauty. I guess this is the boundaries of Chinatown because I don't see any more Chinese businesses after Washington Street. 
going that way. Here's Boylston Square, it's a private way. A lot more alleyways in this part of Chinatown than New York Chinatown, that's for sure. Here's the Hot Pot Sushi Lounge. I think this is the fourth most popular Chinatown in the United States after the San Francisco Chinatown, Los Angeles Chinatown, New York Chinatown. So this is Beach Street. We got here a pho pasteur Vietnamese cuisine and the Pinmen restaurant down the block there. Oh, look at that. There's a Malaysian cuisine restaurant across the street. I was just remarking how there wasn't a Malaysian place or Korean or Japanese or not as many as I thought, but there's a Malaysian place there. I wonder if it's any good. Looks like it's been Zagat rated, so I assume it is. And here's the Jaho supermarket. Here's the Bun Mi Hua Ang Che, I think, Vietnamese sandwich place. There might be more Vietnamese places here than Manhattan Chinatown. Oh, look at this! It's the Liu Yi Shou Hot Pot Restaurant. This is a famous hot pot chain in China. I know there's one in Flushing, Queens, where I'm from, and this is a very good hot pot place. I'm not sure how well the Boston branch does, but pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm back on Neyland Street again. I don't really see Chinatown extending to any more places from here. So I'm going to end the video. If you enjoyed this walkthrough of Boston Chinatown, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these and I will see you next time. Bye bye everyone. Take care.